The evaluation of global longitudinal strain should start from the three chambers view in which we can uh, insert the time of opening of the aortic valve and we should trace the, the contour of the left ventricular wall. Uh, it could be uh, automatically performed or manually performed uh, with application of dots at the basis of the left ventricle and on another dot at the apex of the apex of the left ventricle. Then we go to the four chambers view. Again, we will see the deformation on these walls. And finally, to the two chambers views with the deformation of the anterior and inferior wall. As we can see, we will see a graph in which each line uh, corresponds to a, a single segment of the left ventricle and we will see that synchrony of contraction and deformation of the single segments. In this case, there is uh, a synchrony of all the segments. This could be really asynchronous in, uh, in presence of, for example, left bundle block conduction. Finally, we will see the global longitudinal strain, which is this bullseye with the final value, with, which in this case is minus 17.4%. And this is a, indeed a global uh, value which reflects the uh, longitudinal uh, function of all the segments.